I failed my quest project. A lot of people ask me about my project. When I explain about my idea to make a natural board marker, they are enthusiastic. But a lot of them think this was easy to do. When I first time come to green school, I expect that I would just learn about English like the other courses. But they also introduced me about sustainability. Then I think about this. My school is using board marker. The go school is using board marker. Anna school is using board marker. A lot of school is using board marker. Even green school is using board marker. <laughs> but every time I write on the whiteboard, I always smell something from the marker and I don't like it. <laughs> I tried to ask my friends about the smells, and a lot of them say the smell is good. <laughs> I searched on the internet, and I found out the smells of the marker is from a chemical named sealant. That can make us have lung damage, kidney damage, and brain damage. I was really shocked because I know the bad effects. I want to change it. I want to make an ink that is not dangerous for our health and also not dangerous for our environment. I, I started to search on the internet to find recipes. This was not easy. There's a lot of information on how to make a natural pigments. But there's no information on how to make a pigment that can be used on the whiteboard as a marker. I started to do some experiment. I took some guava leaf from my garden and brought them to school. I started my first experiment. I boiled the leaf for 20 minutes until the color turned brown. I read that adding rusty nails can make the color darker, almost black. So I add some rusty nails to the water. It did turn darker, almost black. I had to add vinegar to prevent it from fermenting and some maizena to make it less liquid. The color looked quite black on the paper, but very clear on the whiteboard. Every day for the next two weeks, I try to adapt the recipe with a different amount. But the color stayed too clear and the texture wasn't good. I had a problem. I feel like I had failed. Ibu Melanie introduced me to Ibu Puri and Bu Arni, to science teacher at Green School. We talked a lot every Wednesday after school, but they didn't have the answer either. They didn't have the right recipe. So I had to continue and try and error. I work on the IHUB at the Biobus office, and I learn about the problem in Bali with the used cooking oil. I didn't know this was such a big problem. And I like the idea to try to find different solutions with the used cooking oil. Wait, sorry. And I remember Yuka's quest presentation. So I asked myself if it may be possible to make an ink based on glycerin, based on used cooking oil, sorry. I tried, some, I tried to do some experiment. For the pigment, I also used the guava leaf and the rusty nails. But I need something to bind the water and the oil. Kadima sold me KOH, kalium hydroxide. It's a chemical that I can use to bind the water and the oil. It did work. The oil and the water binded, but the color still wasn't strong. I tried to add charcoal to make the color darker. But soon, I realized the charcoal was a problem. 
because it will block the ink and it come to the tip. And I also didn't feel good about using KOH because I want to make a natural board marker and KOH is a chemical. So I had to think about something else. When Pat Kyle heard about this project, he told me I should try to make an ink based on glycerin. Glycerin is a rest product from when, you, from when you turn your skin oil into biodiesel. It is used in almost every beauty product. And I like the idea to still, to still work on natural ink and using product that was related to the big problem of using oil. Now, Ibu Melanie also introduced me to Pak Max, an environmental engineer from Project Hub. He joined my team, and now I had two science teachers, one biologist, one pharmacist, and one environmental engineer work together with me to find natural bird marker ink recipe. I work with the experts every day since February, and I'm still far from the perfect recipe. Kadi must give me an article that make an ink based on glycerin. The glycerin is from Biobus, but I need more ingredients to, to make it. So I need money to buy those ingredients. That's why I went to Project Hub. <coughs> when I heard that I must do presentations to Project Hub team, I was really scared because this was my first time doing a presentation in English. And I also scared if I can't get the grant. They give me many questions, and I'm scared if I can't answer their questions. But after the presentations, I feel very proud and happy because I can answer their questions. A few days later, I heard that I got the grant. <laughs> They told me that I was the first KKC student ever that got the grant from the Project Hub team. I feel very, very proud. With the money, I, I bought the ingredients to continue experimenting. Sometimes the color was good, then the texture wasn't good. So I had to continue and try and error. I am still working on developing with the right recipe based on glycerin. I might not have found the proper recipe yet, but I will not give up. With Kak Dimas, Kak Diana, and Ibu Puri, I will continue experimenting even next school year until we have found the proper, the proper recipe. When I started this project, I was already thinking about the outside of the marker. I want to make it from bamboo and have, and have the whole product before this presentation. But now I realize I have to wait with the outside and keep focusing on the ink. In the beginning, I feel like I had failed, but I'm not failed at all. Now I realize I have gained so much. I learned to speak English, learn a lot of science, connect to a lot of experts, but above all, I learned to not give up and be proud of what I have accomplished. <laughs>